So thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate it. It's, it's a new experience for me to hear someone say nice things about me. <laughs> um, certainly doesn't happen in my house. Um, <laughs> So I'd like to thank the US Const USS Constitution Museum Board of Trustees and staff for honoring me with the prestigious Charles Francis Adams Award for Community Service. I am deeply humbled. And what makes this evening even more special for me is the presentation of the award by Kevin Janay, a veteran and one of Liberty's own. As, we, as you heard Joyce say, uh, Kevin's a 30-year veteran, serving in the US Navy and in the rank of captain. And Kevin, we thank you for your service and we are proud to have you in the Liberty Mutual Corps. In fact, um, I'd like to accept this award in honor of Kevin and the many other military service members and veterans from Liberty Mutual Employee Resource Group, Valor at Liberty, and I'm very grateful that this group is well represented here this evening. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. So before I go on, I'm sure you've noticed the accent. <laughs> I do promise, even before Mr. Trump asks, to release my US naturalization documentation to you <laughs> so you can feel assured that this honor doesn't fall into the hands of the enemy. <laughs> so Charles Francis Adams, for whom this award is named, served in the Second World War before joining the world of business. His family business, a small little company in Massachusetts called Raytheon. He grew that company to become the largest industrial employer in Massachusetts. And you may not know this, but at the same time, Charles actually served on the board of directors of a second small Massachusetts company, Liberty Mutual Insurance. He is an early example of the transferable and undeniable skills acquired during service to our country. It's also very special that Governor Baker's here tonight. Uh, Governor Baker, your leadership in this state has been bold and admirable and I know I speak for many when I thank you for your steady hand in guiding the Commonwealth. <laughs> to my fellow awardee, Jeffrey Bolster, congratulations on receiving the Samuel Elliott Morrison Award for your scholarly work researching people in the sea and for enhancing the image of the USS Constitution. Your life's passion for the maritime will have a profound effect on protecting our past for future generations. I could just say huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. <laughs> I'll save that for the end. And to Anne Grimes Rand, I thank you for your loyalty and leadership in preserving our maritime heritage, supporting those who served our nation, and inspiring others with the history of old Ironsides. Thank you. And, today, the story of the Constitution is more expansive, more inclusive, and more engaging than ever before. This might explain why last year alone, more than 500,000 students, families, veterans, teachers, history buffs alike came to Boston to experience America's ship. Nowadays, when children visit the USS Constitution Museum, they travel back in time. They enlist as sailors. They prepare for the War of 1812. They scrub the decks, they cook, and they serve their meals. They own their history. They live their history. And ultimately, they see themselves through the stories and strength of those who came before them. The USS Constitution is a national treasure but it's also a uniquely Boston treasure. And to be recognized by an institution that exemplifies the finest traditions of honor, service, sacrifice, and teamwork, to receive this award from one, one of Liberty's Navy veterans, and to know that with the funds raised tonight, countless children will get the chance to experience this history, their history, 
makes this evening one Stephanie and I will long remember. Thank you very much. <laughs>